oscillation of a cylinder without slipping inside a curved surface. So suppose I have a curved surface, this is a curved surface and the radius of this curved surface is R and now I consider a cylinder uh, of radius R. Because this uh, cylinder is moving uh, in the surface, in this curved surface, okay, without slipping. So I have to find its time period. Now, at this instance, you see it is at equilibrium. And here I am disturbing it by taking the cylinder at this position, alright. So here if you see the theta is 0 degree. This is the equilibrium position. Okay, now if I take this uh, ball or sorry, uh, if this cylinder to this point, all right, and now such that this angle is theta, and then I release this, and it will start oscillating. So I have to find first its energy, its potential energy. Say this is theta maximum this is the maximum value of the theta then whole energy is is potential energy alright so this is the height of the of the cylinder raised by me while taking this to theta theta angular displacement to theta alright so what is the potential energy this can be found simply potential energy of cylinder is m g into height h because this is the equilibrium position okay and now when i take to this point this is at this point suppose this is the height at h then its potential energy will be m h m g h so to find the value of h in terms of r minus r and theta, we take right angle triangle O, P and Q. Alright, then you see that O, P will be equal to O, Q cos theta, cos of theta. And o, o, Q is r minus r, so O, P be equal to r minus small r cos of theta. Now we have to actually find h. We can find h if we subtract r minus r by o p. Okay, then we get h. This is o p and this is h. So we can calculate it by subtracting r minus r by o p. So h will be equal to r minus r minus o p. Okay, so we get the height height will be called r minus r minus capital R minus small r cos of theta taking r minus r cons common it will be 1 minus cos of theta potential energy will be called mg r minus r into 1 minus cos of theta so here you can check by taking theta is equal to 0 the potential energy will be 0 that means this is in equilibrium state now for small oscillations the angular displacement is small for this we can take the approximation of cos theta equal to 1 minus theta square by 2 i cannot take this cos theta equal to 1 because when i take this equal to 1 potential energy at uh, theta maximum is 0 which is not possible so potential energy is m g r minus r into theta square by 2 okay this is the potential energy you can see at any instance of time theta is uh, x divided by r minus r small r. x will be theta times r minus r then x dot will be theta dot r minus r Velocity of cylinder will be uh, equal to velocity of the center of mass and the rotational velocity. So when it moves in this sphere, it has a velocity of center of mass equal to x dot 
and it is rotational velocity this rotational velocity omega is x dot center of mass divided by r energy will be equal to kinetic energy of the center of mass and the rotational kinetic energy uh, which is equal to one half of uh, i omega square i is the moment of energy of the cylinder which is one half of mr square so x dot is r minus r theta dot and uh, i is one half of m omega square so here theta uh, omega is r minus r theta divided by r whole square so let's solve this it will be one half of m r minus r theta dot square this is also square this will be 1 by 4 m uh, r square it will be r minus r square theta dot square over this r square this will get cancelled so we'll, we will have 1 by 2 m small, capital r minus small r square theta dot square plus 1 by 4 m of capital r minus small r square theta dot square all right this will be equal to 3 fourth of m capital r minus small r square theta dot square total mechanical energy will be equal to potential energy plus kinetic energy so this is the potential energy this is a kinetic energy okay now the de time derivative of the total energy is zero total, en total energy is zero okay so if we take the time derivative of this term this will be equal to zero all right let's do so differentiation of this with respect to t is m g r minus r theta theta dot okay plus uh, differentiation of this will be 3 by 2 m r minus r square theta dot theta double dot which is equal to 0 taking to the right side we have this 3 over 2 m r minus r square theta dot theta double dot equal to minus m g r minus r theta theta dot okay so this m and gets cancelled r minus r or one from this side gets cancelled theta dot theta dot sorry theta dot will get cancelled so what we get 3 by 2 r minus r theta double dot equal to minus g of theta this theta 2 r minus r theta double dot will be equal to minus g of theta theta double dot will be equal to minus 2 by 3 g r minus r of theta this term say this term is some constant omega square so this is 2 by 3 g r minus o r is some omega square theta double dot will be minus omega square theta theta double dot is directly proportional to minus theta so this is simple harmonic motion and here omega will be equal to under root of 2 by 3 g over r minus r and the time period will be equal to 2 pi under root of 3 by 2 r minus r or g okay 